This video demonstrates how to configure IO Link devices to an Armor Block 5000 IO Link Master Block when using automatic device configuration or ADC mode. This mode is intended to be used when the controller is the primary handler of the configuration. Choosing Yes to ADC enabled within the IO Link device add on profile will allow a device to utilize ADC mode. For an IO Link device connected to an Armor Block 5000 IO Link Master, you can view connection and device information as well as gain access to the configuration and parameters of the device. The Parameters tab generally provides a read only view of the running values and configuration within the IO Link device. You can also set values for parameters that support write functionality. Let's focus on a specific value, the sensor set point threshold. This value represents the sensitivity of the photo eye within this project. We can see that the value within the device is at 9000 units. In the parameters tab, we are not able to change this value. Let's observe the same parameter from the configuration tab. Currently, the configuration value matches the parameter value in the IO link device. Since ADC mode is enabled for this sensor, we can manipulate the parameter configuration value to make a change. Select Apply to push the configuration change to the IO link device. You may inhibit if desired, but it is not required when using this mode. Observe that the new value is reflected in the parameters tab. Back on the configuration tab, we can attempt a correlation, but we will be notified that there are no differences to correlate since the change has already been loaded in the IO link device through this workflow. The next workflow in ADC mode will demonstrate what happens when a configuration change is downloaded to the processor. We will go offline to make a change and then download the project. Once the download completes, you can see that the change was pushed to the IO link device because the controller is the main storage location of the configuration. Observe that the value of 7000 on the parameters tab matches the configuration tab value. For devices in ADC mode, configuration changes can also be made via device tags. Let's change the value to 12000 in the configuration tag for this IO link device. Observe that the value is updated in the configuration tab, but it is important to understand that this change has not made it to the IO link device yet. If we attempt to correlate at this time, it will alert us that there is a mismatch and we can choose to use the controller or device value if desired. For now, we will cancel this correlation and view that the value on the parameters tab has not been updated. Instead of correlating via the add-on profile, we will show how this change can be pushed to the IO link device through logic instead. To make the update in the IO link device after a tag driven configuration change, we can use a module reconfigure type message instruction. Observe that the target of the message is the IO link device itself. Let's trigger the wrong with the toggle of a bit. Finally, we can observe that the value is updated to 12,000 on the parameters tab following the message execution. To recap, ADC mode provides for ease of device configuration via Studio 5000 based workflows.